Greetings, everybody. Well, I'm not used to being here on Wednesdays, but I could get used to it. Welcome to Devotions. This coming Sunday, we are having a special service that we have in Methodist churches. It's called the Covenant Service. And it happens once a year. It was started by John Wesley a few centuries ago, and we still do it every year. It's very special. Covenant is an interesting word. It means an agreement between two parties. And most of life is built around different kinds of covenants. Just about every relationship that we have has a covenant. For example, when you're a young child and uh, you've got a school teacher, there's an agreement. Your teacher commits to teaching you, and your part is to do your homework, to do your learning, and to be obedient. You've got a covenant with a bank. Um, they will provide the services and the security, and you will uh, give the money and pay the various charges that will be asked for for the keeping of your account. A shopkeeper, um, he will keep the goods or she will keep the goods that you need and you are prepared to pay for them and in exchange he or she will give you the, um, the goods. The government, we've got a covenant with the government. We vote them in, we pay our taxes and we believe that they should do what is just and right for us. Garbage collectors. You need to put your garbage out on a particular morning of the week and they will come and collect it over and over again. In marriage, a beautiful covenant, you say, that you will love and cherish each other and the only thing that will end the relationship is death. We're very imperfect people, so it doesn't always work out like that. But that's what we hope will happen. And then, of course, our children. We are committed to caring for them and nurturing them and they, in their part, must learn how to keep their side by being obedient and doing what is asked of them. So what is the shape? Every relationship has a shape. What is the shape of our relationship with God? Well, if you look back in the various stories of the Bible, you see that there were many different covenants. There was the covenant in the Garden of Eden. God gave Adam and Eve this beautiful place to live in. He gave them the gift of life and said, now you can eat all the fruit, but not the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That was the deal. That was the covenant. They broke it. If you look at Noah after the flood, God promised that he would never again destroy the earth. He committed and Noah and his descendants were to follow God and to trust him. Abram, God called him to believe him, to trust him, and to go to the place that he sent him. And he said, I will bless you by making you a blessing to all nations, which was what happened to us through Jesus. And then there was Moses, where he gave the law. And he said, through Moses to the people of Israel, I will be your God, you will be my people, I will go with you, and you will keep my laws. And then Jesus, when he was... Um, at the Last Supper, and when he gave out the bread and gave them the cup of wine to drink from, he said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, a new covenant. And our relationship with Jesus has the covenant whereby he gives his life for us. He gives his life blood for us, out of love for us. He can give no more on the cross. And he calls upon us to believe in him, to deny ourselves, and to follow him and to enter into a relationship with him that is eternal. It is the source and the blessing of our eternal life, the covenant. And so on this Sunday, we want to renew our covenant, but we can do it every single day. And we pray that beautiful prayer. I am no longer my own, but yours. Put me to what you will. Rank me with whom you will. Put me to doing. Put me to suffering. Let me be full. Let me be empty. Let me have all things. Let me have nothing. I freely and wholeheartedly yield all things to you, blessed and glorious God, for you are mine and I am yours. So be it. And the covenant I make on earth, may it be ratified in heaven. A beautiful response to the love of God. May we daily, by God's grace, renew our covenant relationship with him. God go with you.